complain. We're still talking to former Secretary Guerrero Valdez. Okay, Mr. Secretary, what should the Philippines do as far as the West Philippines is concerned? Let's say, of course, we're expecting a, a positive, a good use of, uh, of the human arbitration court. So, what's the next next steps that we should be undertaking? Um, that we not that with nothing. So, um, it's important with diplomacy. Because okay. dito, it's more of numbers game. Yes. Hindi lang numbers, hindi the quality of, uh, of uh, the uh, entities that are supporting, that are going to support the decision. Yes. In the case of the Philippines, we're very fortunate that uh, what is appearing is that we're being supported by uh, high quality groups uh, in terms of size, yes. in terms of quality, in terms of uh, scope. For example, we are sure of the support of the U.S., uh, Japan, Australia, uh, of course, Vietnam, India, India EU, and G7. On the other hand, uh, China is uh, talking about 60 uh, countries. We didn't, I'm not trying to disparage uh, these countries, but uh, some of these countries uh, are landlocked. Uh, some are so far out uh, as far as uh, maritime disputes are uh, concerned, so one wonders. Unlike uh, the, the countries that I, I, uh, I mentioned, uh, at Vito, uh, diplomacy is going to be very important. China is using their soft power. Okay. I'm sure that what's in Gambia, na sumo supporta sila, mika palitan. All of you know mika palitan. So we have the soft, what's in Gambia, soft power, right? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, financial uh, support. Uh, but here, the, there, are, there are going to be participants uh, in uh, supporting the decision of the Habitat Tribunal that will be doing so for their own interest, not for our yes. national interest. For example, it is in the U.S. interest to make sure that there's freedom of navigation yes. in the South China Sea. It's us, yes. Yeah. Uh, it is in their national interest na you said Japan, do not it? Yes. Kasi, part of the, uh, the part of the trade yes. goes through the South China Sea and they're looking at China as an adversary, yes. a geopolitical adversary all the way to the East China Sea okay. and to them uh, the South China Sea is very crucial uh, to their security yes. and uh, existence. Yeah. Marami tuturong sa atin, not because they love us, but because it is in their national interest. interest. Yes. Yun ang dapat na ma-enhance Very briefly lang, pakisagot ang uh, Mr. Secretary that go to our uh, text questions. Why does Indonesia have the guts to be able to go up against China? And then, I don't know, some people say, if you go up against China, they respect you. But if you play softy, they'll just walk all, all, all over you. Well, dapat uh, pag natin style ng Vietnam. Okay. Ang Vietnam kasi talagang yun ang pinakamalapit. No? They're really in the front line. They have a yeah. common uh, land border. Yes. They have a common the neighbors as far as the sea is concerned. Lumalaban sila, oh. pero tuloy ang diplomatic channel sila, oh. tuloy ang trade. Yes. Uh, magandang pag-aralan ko pa. Nag-gera na sila noong 1979, oh. 20,000 Chinese, I understand, died oh. uh, in the 1979 war, pero tuloy ang kanilang uh, yes. pag-usap. In the case of uh, Indonesia, uh, it's a little different because Indonesia is far yes. from China. You know, it's, as far as distance is concerned, the point of conflict is in the Natuna area. Yes, okay. Medyo malayo yan. Uh, the, the closest, uh, even if, uh, if they have a, a runway in uh, the Fire Cross Reef, medyo malayo yes, yes, yes. yes. yan. Yes. And Indonesia, over the past years, have really strengthened their military. Okay. They, they bought uh, 16 uh, corvettes from uh, the GDR, okay. the old uh, German Democratic Republic. Ngayon, uh, very yeah. useful pa rin. Ipap yung nitrato, the Widodo, yes. the iconic uh, picture of his, uh, is uh, on a, an ASW Corvette uh, made in uh, East Germany. Okay. Uh, tapos, nakabili sila ng, uh, meron silang uh, 13 uh, F-16, okay. meron silang mga 16 uh, combination of uh, SU-27 and uh, Sukhoi-30 from, uh, from Russia. No? So, they have the firepower as far as the Natuna is concerned. Uh, they can uh, Respond right away. Yeah, they can respond. Okay. And in China, we we'll have to deal with that. They have to deal with distance, which yeah. will put them at a terrible uh, disadvantage. Okay, our questions uh, 
Masahin ko yung mga uh, questions na natin from uh, 057. What kind of government uh, what kind of government we had during the Marcos administration? He had control on everything that even the prices of goods, he had control over them. Why can't we have it now? So prices can be controlled. Parang di mahal ang mga pagkain. Okay, next uh, question from uh, bring out, okay, from 049. Good evening, sir. Sana makarating din dito sa Palawan si President Duterte para bigyan din niya ng leksyon ang yung gobernador, gobernador namin dito. Ginapikos sa mga ma mahihirap. Okay, uh, well, sana makarating po. From 352, uh, good PM po. What will happen if we lose to China in our protest, Rudy from Cebu. Well, it's in the first place, it's uh, unlikely. But I said, it's a big deal. If you win China, they will not respect their decision. Oh, okay. So, if you win China, it's okay. 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 But I think in general this is going to be good. And I hope that the Advocate Tribunal will address the issue of the nine last night. Because you know, it's very important to ask me. 6413, good luck to Duterte. Sana magampan na nila ng maayos pagpaulad ng Pilipinas. Amen to that. We all agree to that. 829, good evening sir. Maganda ang inyong diskusyon ngayon. Maayos na merong makaupo dyan sa Senado na may pananaw sa mahihira para masolusyonan problema sa magsasaka from Annalisa. Post Cablo, Tandag, Surigao City. Thank you very much, Analiza, for texting. 574, good PM. About West Philippines, is it logical that we build a strong navy so that China will not bully us, just like Indonesia did from Alan of Jensen? Takang salamat sa pag-text. Well, we really have to have a respectable uh, navy. But we have to... Hindi pwede yung traditional navy. We cannot match uh, China frigate uh, versus frigate. Dapat meron tayong asymmetric approach. In other words, uh, mas maganda yung meron tayong mga maliliit sa mga missile boats. Uh, uh, instead of uh, four or two good frigates, maybe we have about 20, 30. Tulad ng uh, China. At ang uh, Indonesia, they have uh, about uh, 30 uh, small corvettes. Okay. Yung uh, Iran, uh, they, they, I think they have 100 uh, small missile boats okay. na kinatatakutan din ng US Navy. Yung mm -hmm. approach natin. So, parang ano yun? Uh, fly like a butterfly, sting like a bee. That's, that's right. Uh, swarm. Okay. Okay. So, yan ang swarm tactic. Kasi parang swarm of bees. Uh -huh. Kahit malaki ng leon, oh. pag uh, inatak ka ng swarm of bees na maliliit, sakit ba rin? Pagsaka talaga. Okay. Sasaktan ka rin. 352, good PM. Are we ready for a war? If China attacks us, do you think US will help us? Uh, Rudy from Cebu. Nagasalamat, Rudy. I, I don't think we should talk of war. Ito pa na ito. We, we may be talking of skilled missiles, no? Uh, limited uh, encounters, just like what, what happened between Vietnam and uh, you know, we see skirmish between Vietnam and uh, China. We don't know that, but in the battle, uh -huh. in the war, uh, we should not be talking about it. See, in the do, I doubt whether China would uh, engage in war because it is going to affect their economy. Yes, it is going to affect the team. Uh, oh, I can, I can almost be sure that if they attack a country in the Philippines, Babaksak ang ekonomiya nila. Kasi, ibuboykot sila ng uh, modern na uh, mundo eh. Correct. Figurado yan. 871, wala pa kasi sila nag-post ng RQ. Yung tanong ko lang kung okay lang ba magturo sa K-12 ang hindi board passer. Di ng combat. Well, uh, I don't know whether uh, uh, you would like to have an answer to that. 239, sir, it's high time to, to revive Bataan nuclear plant and invite more uh, Telcos, not just for PLDT and Globe. Ernie of uh, Bagyo, uh, from uh, 297 uh, content. Uh, if arbitration on our side, who will immediately enforce it? Nagtatayo na nga sila ng basis sa area natin. Shouldn't we fire first before our allies help? Di ba ganun dapat? Uh, no, it's not, that's not top of fire. Yung arbitration, sigurado hindi susundin ng China. But uh, we can expect a lot of pressure, severe international pressure on China to at least uh, cooperate. But actually, there are going to be two scenarios, you know, uh -huh. according to some experts. The first scenario is that they're not, they're not going to do anything. They ignore uh, the tribunal, okay, that's well and good. But they might face economic sanctions. 
The other one is an extreme scenario where they will be more aggressive. In other words, uh, they will declare uh, uh, air defense uh, in the beginning zone yes. and they might start uh, constructing on Scarborough. So, yun ang medyo abilagado because uh, I understand that uh, the other powers might consider that a red line. And it is not going to be within our control. The action is going to be undertaken by the other powers, whether we like it or not, because it will affect directly their own uh, interest, whether security or economic. Mr. Secretary, ang daming lupang nilalagay dyan sa West Philippine Sea. Kung po bang tatakin pa dyan, ikaling sa Malis? May rumor na ganyan, kaya yan ang dapat sa I think uh, under the new administration, that should be one of the first agenda items. Ano dapat? Medyo talagang kawawa ng tayo. Ano dapat gawin sa sa public official na nagpinta ng lupang na yan at hindi lang gawin sa West Philippine? Bahala din batas ko po. Okay. Ilang i-enforce. 277. Suggest ko lang, sir, dapat talaga bilateral talk with China because we can't wage war against China. Mabuti pa magtulungan na lang ang Philippines at China. Regardo po from, okay, but, but, but sa lang tapaw din, sir. Okay. 829. Uh, thank you very much. Sir, good evening. Sana seryoso si Digo sa pangkalinaw. Uh, pangkalinaw sa CPP and DF uh, para wala ng gulo sa bansa. At di siya papayag na may ibang bansa na magkontrol sa ating bansa. From Annalisa. Okay sir, good evening. Sana seryoso si Digo. Oh, yan. Yeah, I read this one already. Okay, next. Uh, from 9 to 6, I hope hindi na ituloy ni President Rodi ang um, pagdi-jet ski sa West Philippine Sea para magtaling ng Philippine flag. China should respect ruling of uh, UN Tribunal at Kudos, Associate uh, Supreme Court uh, Justice Carpio and uh, Philippine will win in this case by God's grace. Uh, uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Jerry. Ano kaya ho ang epekto lang? No? Uh, I'm just thinking asymmetric. They see a Philippine vessel going to Ayung Inchon or in the West Philippine Sea. So they'll try to block it. And then they see all these jet skis. Instead of bringing Philippine flags, they're bringing Chinese flags. <laughs> uh, PROC flags. And then your Philippine flags ay nasa loob ng bulsa. Uh, I'm, I'm just thinking out of the box. Anong kayo, Navy man kayo? Hey, hey, kita na natin yan sa, uh, you know, our fishermen have been uh, playing cat and mouse. So, nagdadala sila ng Chinese flag? This man, papasok yun, pero sa dami nila, let's say, kung meron apat, lima na coast guard ships yun, hindi nila mahabol kung meron dalawang po, tatlong pong uh, okay. vessels na doon. So, yun ang dapat paramihin natin. Bigyan uh -huh. natin suporta, yung mga fishermen natin. Kasi marami gusto mong isla, kulang lang sila ng gamit. Okay. That should be... Uh, that should be one of our objectives to empower our fishermen so that they can fish in peace on those uh pero wag silang gamitin para sa mga Chinese. Okay, may isa pa tayong question. Ito, final question natin. Good PM, ah, ito, ito, okay. Ibaba pa ng konti. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, 3576, good evening, Paxi Duterte, nabata ko po ang mga NPA at Sundalo. Magkabati na. Apagyan na lang siguro natin, ano? Paano magyayari? No? Well, I think uh, that will be one of the challenges uh, to the President. Kasi sa cabinet, magkasama sila eh. Okay. Andun ang BND, andun ang... Uh, siya ang referee. Uh, yeah, siya ang uh, referee. Okay. Or siya ang uh, uh, facilitator. Okay, 931, good PM. Tanong ko lang po, andito na sa Pilipinas, yung sinasabi ni Pinoy na binili niyang 12 pieces ng fighter jet. Nandito na Nalawa po lang nandito. Okay. 106, magandang gabi po, mula po ito sa Coronatal City. Sana tulungan ni President Duterte, Sen. Sen. Bongbong Marcos, na bigyan ng mustisya yung nangyari dayaan sa Vice Presidential Race noong nakaang May 9, 2016. Election para hindi na po ito maulit. At sana bigyan niya rin ang posisyon si Bongbong Marcos pagkatapos ng one year ban. Kasi napakaganda ng vision ni Senator Bongbong Marcos para sa Pilipinas. Salamat po. Yung po ang uh, komentaryo ninyo. Uh, yun na po. So, thank you very much po, uh, no, Mr. Secretary. Uh, any final words? Very quickly. Yes, uh, very well. Uh, everybody's excited. I'm very excited. Okay. Because uh, we're, we're seeing, uh, we're going to see big changes. Okay. Uh, more than uh, anything that uh, has happened in the history of our country uh, since uh, the end of the Second World War. So I, uh, let's hope and pray that it, it, it will be for the good of the Philippines. Let's hope that uh, when succeed the administration, it will succeed the agenda, because it will be good for us, especially the 